Hello, 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 and welcome back, everybody. Glad you guys could join me again for another epic episode of Void Train. We're gonna be continuing on where we continuing on where we left off. Uh, it's like, is uh, I have been playing. I have to admit, I have been playing the hell out of this game offline, but I don't want to ruin anything for anybody. So, unless you guys want to just skip ahead to where I'm at, but you know, it's just another nine or ten hours ahead of where I left off for the last stream, but I don't really want to ruin that experience for everybody. Um, but yeah, I've really been enjoying this game and I'm I, honestly, I'm glad that a game like this has came around because it is just so different from any other survival game out there. And it's so good. Like, I honestly cannot wait until the end of this game. I'm also trying to get Dane in the game with me um, eventually. Whenever I can schedule around his time for working and all of that wonderful stiff. Mostly just because I think it'd be funny as hell to have Dane in this game with me. So not to mention it'll help with gathering resources and stuff. So I'm not just all flying around by myself doing the whole thing 
So, yeah. But uh, welcome, everybody. I see uh, Maboya, Edgar, Jax. Welcome, welcome. So, like I said, as a, hopefully we can get Dane involved pretty soon. Hopefully. Y'all give me a second. I'm going to fire the game up real quick and then we'll get down to it. Bar, 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 bar. Like I said, it's just, this game is just so amazing, dude. Like, it's like, oh my God. I, I, I really don't know what it is either. It's just so different. Like, but today my goal is, uh, we're going to be taming a Reflimo and also trying to get our first boilers. So that way we can have a real train. And that's my goal for today. Uh, uh, but how are you guys all doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. Wait, what the hell? What? All right, well, I guess we're here. Oh, shit. Oh my god, what what is Good Lord. Alright, well there's one more apparently. Doing alright, gotta work late tonight. Rip. Edgar, don't you work from home? Honestly, I don't know why it started me here. Maybe this was an autosave or something, because I had attended on not enough space. Oh my god, and all the wood. What the hell? What the hell was I doing on this save? And there's still one more Nazi. I'm gonna find him. but I'll be on until 7. Oh, okay. There we go. I freed up some room there. Still gotta find one more Nazi. You were just at ASW, Paul? Oh boy. I don't know what you were doing there. And Paul, we still gotta try and get multiplayer to work, my dude. Where is this last guy at? It's 
Is he like hiding out someplace? Like what the hell? He's probably under the depot. <laughs> Forgot about these boxes back here. says that there's one more Nazi, but I, I'm not freaking seeing him. So by the way, in case anybody missed it last stream, and we were trying to find out where to go to actually start building onto our train. Well, this is it. <laughs> this, is, this is the train terminal that you can start building your, uh, Bigger train. Yeah, I don't know where this last guy is. Pluck of invisibility. I'm saying, watch. Hey. Oh, hey. Uh oh. Come on, what are you doing, boy train? Why are you freezing? Uh oh. Now that the enemy is disposed of, and our adventurers get a chance to look around, they find a control post mentioned in the diary. They like to hide their goal. <laughs> There we go. See, now we can build on. Wait a second. I saw a gun part somewhere. There it is. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Yeah. And here is our reflimo. Yay. Look at him. He's so cute. He's so cute. Fine, I didn't call you cute. Relax. Uh... Just temporarily stick this stuff in there. pre-made some of these parts from last stream. That way we can extend our wagon. Boom! Hey, 
Calm down there. You calm down. So if there's one thing I did learn on my other playthrough is that I need to go ahead and have a second wagon. So that way I can upgrade this first one, but also be able to move all my stuff from this first one to the second one. So that way I have enough room to put the boiler because the boiler takes up basically three slots on the wagon, basically. Back of the head of that critter has two nipples. Uh oh. Oh my god. He's totally right. Oh my god. stuff I need. Two bearings, two forcers. Let's see. Two bearings, two springs, two bolts, four iron. Make sure I don't have anything else lying around. I already have the two bearings, right? Nope. Alright, so we're gonna make those. Now we can get our second wagon going. There we go. I don't think we have enough wood to Try our luck over here and see if we can't get a... Uh... Oh, hell yeah, right out of the gate winning three more tokens. Alien ears nipples. gonna leave that here. Gambling stream, I'm addicted now. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Well, we have our Reflimo now. He's gonna randomly gather resources for us. Usually it's scrap metal and organics. But, um, it's slow, but, I mean, any extra materials is still nice, so. But, I think it's all I'm gonna be able to do here with the materials I had, so move on and continue on. It's so dark, I'm afraid of the dark! Work sucks. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Paul. You don't got too much longer, though. It's worth gathering. I see some metal. Also, hopefully, we'll be able to do our first witch island today. We should be able to do our first witch island. I did learn though is that you want to like basically try and burn down all this scrap metal it preserves uh, space in your inventory oh no we got the shark take care of the shark get out of here shark He's so fast. Mr. Shark. What's up? Oh, you thought you were gonna eat me, huh? Jerk. <laughs> Smile, you son of a beast. <laughs> Got him. gonna save the leather because we get so much of that crap don't really need it at any point if we need leather I can just shoot the get the little guys over here that are flying around they give us plenty of leather Leech. Mm 
<clears throat> so one thing that I did read is that on the developer's notes is that they have fixed the duplication glitch, which apparently people were um, putting down chests, filling them up, and then uh, putting them back down again, and it was basically produce, reproducing items inside those big, uh, boxes. But apparently they have fixed that with the patch that they had released today. I also realized there was a lot of things I don't really need, like the kitchen. I don't really need it. It might be useful later on down the line, but as it stands right now, I don't I don't really need it. Ow. Leather is a bandage. Yeah, but health gradually increases over time anyway, so so far I haven't really seen a benefit to that yet either. I have heard that there's arena islands though that are really profitable. It's just, um, I haven't had to encounter it yet, so. Because from what I can tell is some of the bigger things that are really valuable is like fat and uh, chemicals. Because later on, when you're making the boiler and all that stuff, you're going to have to go through a crap ton of petroleum in order to make all the copper and stuff. That's just from my experience so far. I may be wrong. I could be corrected if I am, but... Because I think primarily my main goal for this uh, stream is... What the hell? Why did my train stop? I didn't tell you to stop. My main goal for this stream is, like I said, I want to get boilers by the end of the stream. Get my whole train upgraded. But in order to do that, we're going to need a, uh, a driller and all kinds of other stuff. I also need every bit of brick and metal I can get my hands on. Try and get these 
research done. So what do I need? All right, two bolts so I can do the garden. And two iron bars so that I can do the iron plate. Grab that. That will allow us to get our two bolts. Damn it. Meantime, go ahead and get the iron plate research. Get our garden. And I think level 10 is where we get our, yeah, the grappling hook. Hell yeah. Same with our backpack and water. Ooh. It's back in there. Copper pipe. And dirty ice. This is where it would be useful to have multiplayer, though. It's like, because then you can have multiple people sitting there gathering. Oh, crap. That's a lot of metal back here. Or wood, rather. It's like that, like a hunk of fat. <laughs> Me metal, I'll, I will allow it. This game is just so freaking addicting. I can see now why Raptor was doing like freaking 10 hour streams of this crap. Like, that Epic doesn't have 12, like F12, so you can't just print screen like that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Da, 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 da. <laughs> See what we need to make this grappling hook. Two iron bar, two springs, two bolts, one copper pipe. Alright. Alright, so two bolts. 
Gods. I need to get some chemicals. Where are they at? Was it again? Two springs, one copper pipe. Okay. Yeah, man, he's big. I've never seen one that close to the uh, to the train. It's crazy. What springs I needed, right? Two leather, two bolts, two pipes for the backpack. See, once again, I wish it, it would allow you to have it you know, when you create it. Like, cause to me, that just feels retarded. Just enough to make one copper. Good. And see, now we can make a grappling hook. Ah, oh, crap. I don't think I have enough iron. I'm so glad I could watch you do that. Just vomiting up. up. Yeah, something I'm totally going to put in my mouth. Thanks, bro. Look at this little turd, man. Look at the little turd. He's got like suction cups on his arms too, like weirdo. Thank you guys for the likes so far. You guys are awesome. Like I say, the more likes that there is, you know, it shows off the YouTube that everybody likes to be here. So thank you guys again. Hell yeah. Now we got a grappling hook. Come here, boy. Let's get this train moving again. We need five more dirty ice so we can get that one health research. This makes it so much easier. Dude, that whale is sick. Look at that. Resources so much faster. Of course, when I need dirty ice, I can never find it. Now 
Yeah, it's like raft. Yeah, no doubt. Except I feel like this grappling hook is a lot more accurate. <laughs> trying to miss metal right now. I need all the metal I can get. Get some more of this cooking. If you need something though, it's like never there. Oh yeah, we need music, don't we? being is because for the boiler upgrade when we get to it when we get for the boiler upgrade it's gonna tie it's gonna take I think it's a, a total of like 36 pieces of scrap metal it's a crap of metal So now we need two bolts, two iron, or two copper pipe. Then we can make a bad pack. We can unlock our backpack. Oh, 
<clears throat> yeah, it kind of sucks though, because the first backpack you get is really kind of useless. It just allows you to carry one heavy item, such as like a piece of coal or um, such a piece of coal or um, yeah, what's it called? Can't think of the word. Um, a reflimo. It was pipe, right? Okay, good. I mean, it's still it's still useful. It's just yeah. All right, so now we need to get water bite arms, pressing, and driller. This will allow us to get all the stuff we need in order to get to phase 12, which is the boiler. But this is where it starts to get expensive, like I was saying. Because as you can see, it's like freaking good lord. Because that's uh, eight, eight, for the, eight scrap metal for the four iron bars, another four for the two gears. Four for the forcers, so that's 16 there. And then another four for the bolts, so that's 20 scrap metal just for the driller alone. You already have some, though. I mean, it's not so bad, but... All right, get back to moving. Yeah, because as it stands right now, the... Um... This, the boiler is gonna take up basically this entire wagon right here, This because it's three long. That's why I went ahead and went with this second wagon right here. I learned from my mistakes because I don't wanna, don't wanna rebuild everything. So it's gonna actually start building back here on this second wagon, so that way we already have that ready to go. makes it so much faster. Five dirty ice in order to make the uh, make the uh, water bindings we need for the uh, boiler. Alrighty. 
I think we now go after the driller. I think is what we need to go after next. What's up, Trey? How you doing, dude? Get the bigger containers. How you doing, Gerbil? doing well uh, ooh, I see some metal A lot of metal right there. Actually, what do you got for me? Ooh, scrap metal and organics. All right, cool. Damn it! Actually, this is what I'm gonna do. That way I can start preloading. I want to go ahead and start getting everything ready back here. That way, when you unlock the boiler, we can already have it ready to go. I do find it kind of dumb, though, that when you deconstruct an item, it, um, it doesn't give you all the resources back. It only gives you 50%. And you're not able to move objects either. You have to read them. Like, I think it's kind of retarded. I know a lot of people on the Reddit forums have been complaining about that too. 
But so far from what I can tell is the developers and the publishers haven't really said anything about it. So I don't think it's going to be something that they're going to change. But we'll see. We have a bigger train. Rather than that little tiny spit we had yesterday. Or the other day, I mean. It seems like there's more metal once you get towards the gates. I have no idea why. I don't know if it's so that way you can have like last minute preparations, like when you get in so you can build your next piece of your train or what, but. No idea. Maybe make it a researchable task for 100% return and then one for movable items. Yeah, probably. I just wish that when you researched it, you would get the item. Because it just kind of feels redundant that you would gather all the materials to research an item, but it not craft it. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Because you would think if you're gathering all those resources, that it would be like, oh, yeah, well, you're gathering everything so that you can actually build something. But it's not. I, 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 just, I just don't get it. All right, let's see here. We need two bolts, two forcers, two gears. Which means we also need threes, which we have. When do the puzzle areas show up? Um, I think actually in the next area. Thing. I'm not sure though. I hope so. I, if I remember right, it's the next area. gears, two paste, four bars. At some point you will find large objects of large pieces of resources such as ice or coal if you don't already have a driller to crush them. You can set them on the train and store them until needed. Heavy objects can be carried not only in your hands but also in a special backpack which you can learn and create for your game. Oh, yeah, I need too fat. It's too fat. Also, get these 
smelting. What was it? Four gears, right? Or two gears? Yeah, four gears. I know the first puzzle I did the other night, it was, um, actually really wasn't that bad. I thought it was actually relatively easy, but I have seen some people complaining on Reddit about how difficult the puzzles are. And there we go. Next research is phase 12, the steam engine. So we can start having a train. All right, let's see. What do you got for me? Organic, of course. Gross, dude. Gross. Let me out. Get to fight some more Nancy's. Well, that was weird. It's a metal. Oh, that's cozy. Holy Christ. the area or not sees eyes what I'm not following on that one Rob oh not sees <laughs> I get it now I'm a little slow Well, it doesn't look like there's any on this tray, this platform. It just looks like a resource platform. Yeah, that's why I said I get in that, Rob. <laughs> I said, it just took me a second. Oh, do you even lift, bro? Do you even lift? This things look like bearings. Or is that train car wheels? Is it jammings? Yeah. Yeah, I think this was just a resource platform. A bummer though, because I don't think we have enough resources to build on another car. Let's take us four. That's three. No, we don't have enough. So I think we need a total of eight in order to make another car. If I remember right. Oh no. 
we need a total of 10 iron bars to make another car actually while we're here what do we want to name the train because we can rename the train currently it's named impetuous so what would you guys want to rename it what up jeremy if jeremy had a choice he'd probably name it the nickelback express I'll leave it up to you guys and then we'll rename it the next platform we get to. Oh, I see some more materials up there. How the hell do we get up there? Oh, here we go. A lemon locomotive. is gonna let me type in all of that what the all right what the hell homeboy there we go materials to do anything there so here is a well-known parable a passenger used to stand up at every train station and inspect the view from his window on his fifth time the neighbor sitting next to him asked what are you Boy. looking for do you not remember your stop I simply don't know it yet not knowing the journey's in is a part of the excitement so why am I telling you this the world our heroes have embarked upon is very deceptive by its nature, but they can use the prophecies to shape the world. Why didn't I tell you that before? Well, I am getting old and forgetful. <laughs> Boy, this is dark, like really dark. Oh, and we got Mr. Shark here. Sharky, Sharky! Come here, homeboy. Coming right for us. Kind of game is this? It's a survival platformer. I guess is the easiest way to explain it. Don't really care about the meat. You can have that. Pretty fun game though, Pix. At least I'm enjoying it so far. Actually enjoy it rather a lot.
So we're working on building our train. Dude, his eyes look so sick. If we see the fireflies, it's going to be hard to miss the fireflies in this dark of an area. I think my next goal is what I would like to do is go ahead and get all the resources I need in order to fully expand this first wagon. I think that's what I want to do. Because if we can fully expand that first wagon, then we can build the driller on the back of it and still have room for our steam engine. How's our food, water? Okay, we're not doing bad. how many pieces it was that we needed to get. So I think I said it's 20? 20 scrap metal? No freeloaders, damn it. Way there the next and then it's a victory not really sure I follow
All right, so now we got our hammer. Whoops. What up, Paul? I'm just doing some prep. There we go. That's 15 right there. <sighs> and what do we need to make a lab? everything the research table is four and four okay. damn it Hey, why are they all like slanted? Like what? Cause they're not like even. I don't get it. See, is there any wood in here? Yep. Can take that out. I'm just trying to do prep work. Uh, I need one more iron bar. I mean, condense our work area. And I can't remember what you need to make a lab. What is it that you need to make a lab? One bolt, two copper pipe or copper wire. Do I have any scrap metal? I have one. Nice. Oh crap, I forgot to pull the wood out first. What's up, Fishant? How you doing, dude? Ah, uh, 
one freaking chemical. Music is pretty funny. <laughs> And I need one bolt. Yeah, I think that song is fun. And now I should be able to create the lab. So now we have a condensed working area because now we got our lab, the research table, the workbench, and two smelters right here. And then once we expand, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of storage and stuff along this wall over here. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put a storage right next to here. Cause that way we can start storing iron and stuff like right here. a little bit of organization to all the chaos I don't know why that one piece of fat was just sitting there when I got stuff right over here for that all right now that we got some of that out of the way it's the last we got to worry about later We're still gonna have to build Reflimo's nest again, but we'll worry about that when the time comes. Get off my train, homeboy. Guys. Man, it is so dark. Trying to keep a lookout for all the fireflies. Really like your streams, enjoying your channel very soon. Well, thanks, dude. It's totally not necessary, but I'm glad you're enjoying the channel. We just like to try and have fun, especially whenever you can get me and Dane together. Because I've actually been having a lot of fun playing Far Cry 5 with him. And uh, here pretty soon, I'm going to try and get it set up with Bane so that way he can join us on Void Train, too. And we both rot together. <laughs> well, I mean, it all started with Dane, 
Um, because one of the very first people I ever streamed with when I started my channel was Dane. So, I think he's always going to be with me, honestly. Like I said, especially if we can get him in boy train with me. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Especially if he gets eaten by a shark. <laughs> Before anybody asks, uh, the coal and the chunk of ice back here, I can't do anything with those until I unlock the driller. So once I get the driller, uh, like, unlocked and put on the train, then that's when I'll be able to use them. But for now, they're just gonna sit there and look pretty. You're stuck with him? I don't see that necessarily as a bad thing, to be honest. I love Danny. I think he's awesome. Definitely a unique individual. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to start gathering chemicals, so that way I can make a bunch of grease. I need a bunch of fat for that, too. still here man when do you think you're gonna be off of work today because i'd really like to try and see about multiplayer working on this because on reddit supposedly the developers made a post saying that they had fixed multiplayer so i want to see about it trying to get it working he'll find a way to get a bear in there <laughs> and there's no bears yet that doesn't mean there's not some later seen any of those little guys in this area. They might be a little screwed on that. thing. Because if I remember right, in order to unlock the boiler, it's like 38 pieces of iron. I 
still thought it was hilarious though when we were uh, playing Far Cry yesterday and then that bear was just chasing him down. That crap had me dying. Oh, I need to back up. For some reason, anytime the Dane is in a game and there's bears involved, oh yeah, he's gonna find it. Like, hardcore find them. So I do believe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this Reflemo go this whole time. Oh, there it is. Fireflies. Our first puzzle, chat. First puzzle. Oh, it's not fireflies. Damn it. Never mind. It was just another hunk of coal. Seven days was the best. Oh my God, right? Dang it. When we started that first server and the very first five minutes in the server, he found a freaking bear and got killed by one. Crap was hilarious. That's definitely something I want to revisit, by the way. I need to go back to seven days to die. What is going on with the game? It's like we're going into the matrix. You see this crap? What the hell is going on? Why did the train just stop? And I'm not gonna complain. I mean, I'm kind of complaining, but. What I want to be able to do is the next train terminal that we go to, I would like to be able to uh, uh, finish upgrading the first car. So that way we can build our driller back at the back of the car. But the driller alone is going to cost a lot of resources too. And then once we get our driller, we can make the steam engine. With all the metal that's popping up right now, it makes me have a feeling that we're coming up on a gate. So everybody that's in chat right now, how likely are you guys to pick up this game? I'm sure most of you probably this isn't the first time you've seen it. No.
I don't think it's gonna work, Jax. I don't think alcohol is a uh, is a word. <laughs> situation here. Get this right there. <laughs> Dang fat fingers in this mini keyboard. <laughs> And store all of our iron back here. Dang it. <laughs> But you got what you got. That's all that really matters. Make sure it's reloaded. Just in case there's another freaking shark. steam engine apparently later on in the game you can get diesel engines which i think is really cool yay more ice fell through the train.
How many is a keyboard? Well, hopefully soon, Rob. I, I don't think it was very far after you got the first upgrade, but you got fireflies. Hopefully. Glad we got this freaking um, grappling hook. It makes it so much easier. Now, by the time we get to the station, he's probably got like 10 or 15 scrap metal in there. Probably actually only like five. But I can be hopeful, right? excited though when I saw that freaking the yellow because I thought it was dragonflies or I mean the uh flies oh Jesus that scared the hell out of me <laughs> I think it's funny that that scares me even though uh you know that y'all all voted on that freaking sound effect so. Oh, by the way, there is a new game that I want to try and get Derby, Dane, and Nima, and all of us back together for. It's a game called Dream Chasers, and it just absolutely looks terrifying. Like Phasmophobia on crack. Like, Cause I know it's probably gonna scare the hell out of me. I actually have no idea. this out yes it is it is available in early access on the epic game store right now and i actually uh it's a uh, 30 dollars in the united states it is 30 pounds over in the uk and i believe it is 28 aud i think something like that i don't know why they changed it for the for the australians and charged more to the people in europe but Yes, it is out. Uh, survival multiplayer platformer type game. It's pretty fun. At least I'm having a lot of fun with it. start out with just a very basic train like as in like right here this is like the very small section of train you get and then you have to basically level your train up from there because like right now I'm 
I'm working on doing research to get a boiler so we can have like a real train. And you do everything on the research table right here by going through different phases. Right now, from what is known in the game, there's currently 35 phases. Looks like raft on a train. That's pretty much what it is. You get sharks and all kinds of stuff that are out there as well. So. But you'll see a shark when we get done with this next platform. There's also whales in the game. Supposedly there's dragons too, which I haven't seen a dragon yet. To battle. Yeah, also, when you go to the platforms, you have a uh, possibility of fighting the Germans. Are there any Germans? What is the deal? It looks like we just keep getting resource depots. Um. Okay. Well, that's lame. Ow. I'm glad you mentioned that, actually. I forgot to put that in the chat. If any of you guys decide to pick up the game, y'all can use my creator code, help support the channel and all that good stuff. So that way it just tells Epic that I sent you a fair way to buy the game. Unfortunately, I can't get you a discount or any of that stuff on it, but maybe one day when I get a little bit bigger on YouTube and stuff, then, then I can get that kind of good stuff. But as of right now, all I can say is it just tells Epic that I'm sending people their way, so. Leather. Let's see. All right. Oh yeah, we can. Uh, oh, let me cancel that. We didn't get much fat, did we? No. Shoot. We don't have any fat. Ah. Uh, that kind of sucks. But since that last area didn't have any of those little guys, we couldn't get any fat. Huh. So we can't make, uh, we can't make bearings. Ooh, yeah, we can. Yes, we can. Let's 
see what it takes to make our next upgrade. Two bearings, two bolts, two springs, four iron bars. It's organic. All right, that's one upgrade. that we already had bolts bearing all right so we need two springs then the parasite starts to grow <laughs> be like aliens oh yeah shoot that's right wait when does that game come out uh oh next week next week so next week, Aliens Fireteam Elite comes out. So I hope you guys are look forward and looking forward to that because I am going to be playing the hell out of that game when it comes out. All right, so that's all we can do for now. Now we have a full-blown train, like a full wagon, like where it's completely finished. So what this will do is it gives us room because like I was saying is that the steam wagon and the steam engine takes up pretty much the first three. So it comes back to like right here. And then this last part right here will be open for whatever we want to put behind it. But it's extremely expensive for the steam engine. Because if you look, let's see, so that's eight, four, the eight, no, eight iron bars, four gears, four piston, or four forcers, four bolts, and four copper piping. So each one of those iron is two scrap metal so that's let's say 16 24 32 36 pieces of scrap metal so technically 40 pieces of scrap metal in order to make one in order to unlock the steam engine then we have to get another 40 to actually build it that <laughs> parasite the maxim <laughs> But yeah, I'm glad y'all said something about that because I totally forgot that Alien is coming out next week. So if you guys are new to the channel and want to see some Alien Fireteam Elite or if you guys want to join me on Alien Fireteam Elite next week, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you really like what I'm doing here, you can even join and become a sponsor. For the low, low price of 99 cents. 
but I would never ask anybody to do that. Da -da -da. Just scout this thing out real quick so that way we can try and get more materials. It does not look like there's any here. So we will move on. That way we can get a bunch of wood. Put all the wood on this platform use all those materials that I have so that we can build our driller, put it back here. As I'm probably just gonna put it right here in the dead center. So that way I can uh, cheese the system a little bit. But if y'all give me one moment, um, I'm gonna run and use the restroom. And I'll be right back. I think, I think we can get the boiler today. What do you think, chap? You think we can get the boiler today? Oh, please be. Please have the little critters. I need fat. Still not hearing the little critters. I need the little critters, damn it. I'd really like to be able to get a firefly puzzle. Whoa. Chad, if you were uh, if you're still around, I uh, apparently we dropped in there for a second. Get off my train!
that. For some reason, it dropped for just like a split second, but. some fat. Tons of fat. on so we can get some more wood. Yeah, I was just saying that just in case anybody lost it, Rob. Because like I said, it dropped for like a second. So I don't think it was long enough for YouTube to like really throw a fit. But I just wanted to make sure. Wait, where's he at? There he is up there. I'm glad we were going back. There's some coal sitting right there. wood I need wood Punch it into a diamond <laughs> Rob, 
Rob, is the stream looking okay to you? Or Jack, if you're still here. Like it's not skipping or anything like that. What are you vomiting in the box for me? Ah, scrap metal. Yay. Two forcers, two gears, two bolts, four iron. Oh, I guess it would help if I had iron on me, huh? Damn it! It was good now. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what happened with it. Like, it was weird. Just for, like, a split second, the internet dropped for some reason. It usually always happens on a Tuesday, or a Thursday, I mean. I don't know why. I guess it's the price I pay for living in a college area. All these naughty college teenagers wanting to freaking download their porn, you know? <laughs> Now have our driller. You doing bud all right what was it that it takes to make unstable gel again oh, trolling or chemicals I just got home. How am I? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Oh, I need more wood.
just enjoying playing Void Train. Stick these in there for now. Because now, basically, what I'm going to do is move all of these boxes back. Once I get the train of all, like, upgraded again, move all these boxes to the back. So that way, we have that ready to go for when we get our boiler. unstable chemical in order to make our coal briquettes. Ay, ay, ay. This is what I was talking about when you need a ton of chemicals. Fireflies, Rob. If you didn't pick up this game yet, man, I think it is a ton of fun, dude. Well worth it. It's like Raft, but in another dimension. Oh, damn it. All the things that we're running out of is wood. Normally we're always complaining about metal.
indeed, Rob. Yeah, like Rob said, if you haven't picked the game up, you can use my creator code just to tell Epic that I sent you my way, I sent you their way. Not necessary, but completely up to you. So unfortunately, I can't give you a discount or anything like that, but maybe in the future. In case you guys are wondering, I am making these cold briquettes because that is what you need in order to run the boiler. But you also need these water bidons in order to run the boiler as well. Which is what these are for. See, I hope they later on down the line. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me check something, chat. I, I want to see if there is a way that we can modify this game. Uh, uh, let's do a universe. Let's see. No. Uh, what was the name of this game again? Oh yeah, Boy Train. Not seeing it there. Play this smart. It's all in Unity Engine. Oh wait, this game is on Steam. I didn't know that. And I wish I had known it was on Steam. I would have bought this shit on Steam. chat i was hoping to see if i could find some way to like change the inventory files or something but it looks like they've got it on lockdown with unity engine so uh, i think that uh dane and i will be doing some digging into this game and seeing if we can't find out a way to break it Dane knows his way around Unity pretty well. See how close I can get to 
researching the uh, the next stage. We need eight iron bars, which is this is also something I disagree with because when you research a steam engine, it's only eight iron bars. But when you go to actually build it, it asks for ten, which I think is completely ridiculous. But uh, what can you do? All right, so four gears, four forcers, which means we need more grease. Well, we have fat now, so we can do that. What up, Nick? How you doing, bud? But you only need one grease to make for the four forcers. Caroline doing today, Nick? After her her long shift yesterday. All right, got our one grease. We got four forcers. And howdy, Mariah. Not too much, kind of sad today, wishing I could play a game today, but my PlayStation is overheating. Oh God, was that a PS4? Her ass is back on another 12 hours today. Oh God. Crazy man. Freaking cray cray. Yeah, Mariah, our train's a lot bigger now. Like a lot bigger. See? And hopefully, here pretty soon, we'll have a steam engine on this thing. And what was on the air again? Uh, bolts. Ah, crap. And copper wire, too. I need copper pipe. I need four copper pipe. Damn it. And I don't have any more scrap metal. Damn it. Alright, so stick these in here for now. Actually, that's perfect because we got one copper pipe here. I can cancel this iron that's cooking right now, and that'll give me three. Then I can come back over here, get my three petroleum. Three copper wires. You know her, she's a crazy woman. <laughs> Clean the fan and dusted it, and now I have the top cover off. Oh god. Yeah, PS4s um from what I understood is that they had a very, very terrible cooling design. And um the heat sinks didn't properly go past long enough on the APU. And it would cause it to throttle itself out. 
That's from what I understand about PS4s. In specific, it was the, uh, the slim model. Alright, now we can grab all of our stuff and research this bad boy. There we go. And I think the next phase actually lets us have cheaper or, uh, yep, there it is, right there. So it reduces the fuel cost for iron and copper by 25%. That way we can start having cheaper smelting. We have unlocked a steep steam engine, which you can build at the nearest depot. The engine is only installed on the locomotive, the first car. For this, you need to expand it to four platforms. It's important to expand the first car, not to build new cars. Yeah, well, I already did that, so we good there. All right, let's get to moving. I need wood and chemicals, like, desperately. Because the chemicals are what we're going to be needing to make unstable chemicals. So that we can make all the gas for the steam engine. Then we also have to gather up all the materials again in order to make another steam engine. Oh, put a rough limo on your head and call it a hat. Rob! That's it. Hey, you. Uh, I mean, our heroes noticed alien lights luring them deeper into the void. What could it be? A mysterious witch island, perhaps? Fireflies! Thought I may have cleaned the thermal paste off or pinched a fan wire or something and it makes it worse. I had a small external fan on the PlayStation to try and keep it cool. Wow, man, that's rough. Alright, uh, let's see. I need to make some more copper rings. Switch Island. Hell yeah. Brightness crap. Oh, wrong button. Make 
make sure there's nothing out here. He's gonna have to buck up and send it in to have it looked at. Well, a lot of times it's solvable. Uh, let's see. So it's over there is the puzzle. I'm just trying to see the best way to go without having to waste rings. Go. crap out of the way. Uh. Make sure I wasn't missing anything out there. I don't know too much about the dumb thing. I'll just send it to you then and you fix it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've repaired a couple of them. Yeah, for the most part, their, their heat sinks were just terribly designed. So this one is one that's fine. So where do I need to send this other one? I think it's right there is where I need to send it. I think that's where it's going to be right there. This is a weird puzzle. Like a really weird puzzle. Oh. 
Well, I don't think that's right. This doesn't point in any other direction, so I have to put it through there. Well, I'm hanging is to send it to you and you fix it for me and then bill me later. <laughs> uh. Wait, did we get it? Oh, we got it. Off my screen, damn it. Where do we go from here? That was weird. Is this the only puzzle island? Sometimes have two or more puzzle islands together. I'm actually not sure. This is my first puzzle island on the, so. So maybe Yeah, we got treasure. It's not very good treasure, but it's treasure nonetheless. Cause unfortunately we didn't get a gold chest or any of that stuff, but yeah, I'm not kidding. Dang it. It's worth it. And there's our beautiful train. There we go. Our first treasure chest. My little pony. <laughs> All right. So now, unfortunately, we won't know what that is until we, uh, basically until we get back to the next, to the next station. Yeah. 
And I believe that also means that the next, uh, the next station is actually going to be a more difficult one, too. Get up on the train. on food. some organic so that I could eat. funny Rob how everything has changed because originally I was like going desperate for metal and now it's like I have plenty of metal and no freaking wood I was about to miss something. I don't know if that's a brick or a chunk of ice, but I was about to miss it. That was coal. I'm 
glad I turned back to that. Damn it! Dude! What up, Cypher? I have these paint your train. I see you got some new toys. Yes, I do. Got me this beautiful grappling hook now. Makes life so much easier. The literal meaning to reach out and touch someone. Even got me a new little tail, new little pet. Look at that googly eyed bastard. Whoa. You do it that way, it makes him look evil as hell. Thank you, dude. I hear a whale. I hear a whale. Caroline called you a douche because she has to work and sleep when you like to stream, and she did say she's happy you're streaming. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to stream more, especially now since I'm on uh, basically holds. So I'm trying to stream a little bit more. We're trying to gather together a really big group for Saturday so that we can play Carrier Command 3, or excuse me, Carrier Command 2 on Saturday with a big multiplayer group. That's our goal, at least. Because currently, right now, we have nine people signed up for Carrier Command 2. Take care of this real quick. I think five should be enough. At least for now. He needs a friend. Yeah, in time. Because hopefully by the time we get to the next station, We'll have enough to build our steam engine, and then if we can move that Riflemo to the back of this car and build another Riflemo nest on the, this second wagon. It's just I need to expand this second wagon as well in order to actually accommodate for the steam engine. Because the steam engine is gonna come back to about right here. So it takes up pretty much this entire front part of the car. So I need to make some copper. Let's see. Have some of this. 
because I think we need four height in order to make the in order to make the copper piping so that we can get the steam engine. I think. If I remember right. Because I know it's ten iron bars, I believe it's four gears, four forcers, and four bolts, along with four copper piping in order to make our steam engine. AKA a lot of metal. Also a lot of petroleum, or a lot of chemicals. I also should be gathering those little bastards so that I can get fat again. Oh, I got petroleum sitting right there. What the? Fuck? I'm gonna make some more grease so that we can make our forcers. Yep, I need to collect those little guys again whenever they show up again. Cause I gotta get more fat. I think that's all the copper we need in order to make. Oh, what am I doing? This whole time I've been wasting. So I forgot we have that research. we have the research so we can make them cheaper. There we go. So now what that's going to do is it's going to drastically decrease the, t uh, the amount of fuel we need in order to make copper and iron bars. Because it decreases it by 25%, which is huge. Try to hook him with a grappling gun. Oh, you can. It just requires actually seeing them. Oh, there they are. Come here, little babies. I need fat. I need fat. Come here. of you you're like purposely staying away from me aren't you, you jerks all right fine well, I'm gonna wait you come like closer you're mine I believe it's for a total of 44 scrap metal in order to build our steam engine. And then later on during the different phases, we'll get, uh, we'll basically get upgrades to our boiler all the way up until later on where you get a diesel engine. 
which I'm really excited for. <laughs> well, Cypher, you missed uh, the first Witch Island. A small little puzzle. Oh, I'm full. Oh, look, and we almost missed a chunk of ice, too. Damn. gracious about sneezed my damn headset off my head good lord all right let's see how many unstable gel we can make real quick You got for me, Lafrino. Huh? Scrap metal. Nice. Actually, hang on a second. I'm going to pull it up for you real quick. Because from what I could tell so far, is this is the Void Train Wiki. And as you can see here, you unlock the platform at phase 4, uh, grappling hook at 10, 12 at the steam engine. You get containers, a workbench level, boiler upgrade, sturdy wood. But I'm not sure at what level you get in certain things because uh, once you build your steam engine, it unlocks different decor. And unfortunately it doesn't say anything about decor in the in the uh, research table. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I honestly don't know.
<laughs> Cult is the weapon if you have anything to, if Rust gameplay is anything to go by. Oh, dude, I love Rust. But the only problem I have with Rust is I get extremely, extremely obsessed with it because I love building. Do you get more weapons on than on the revolver? Yes. Uh, later on, you're going to get an assault rifle. I think there's a flamethrower and you get a better revolver, too, where it has like a uh, like basically a belt fed like gun barrel, I guess you could say. also different barrel attachments and you can change different stocks and all kinds of different things on um, on your guns so yeah there's plenty of modifications when it comes to your weapons later on in the game I was in your team on the Raptor server way back oh gotcha <laughs> yeah I don't think you saw me when I was playing after that though I went on and got in with a group um, over on Face Punch North America 6 and uh, basically turned into a raiding jerk. <laughs> we were like raiding everybody. We quickly became the most powerful group on the server. I honestly think the only reason they kept me around was because I have so many damn skins in the game. Snap another puzzle. Burned out on Rust thanks to the Raptor server. Yeah, but if you ask me, I think it was extremely limited on the Raptor server, which I really didn't like. Because they were making it like... I'm, yeah, I'm not going to go into that, honestly. Because I know if I go into what I was about to say, I'm probably going to offend a lot of people. Frankly, I just don't feel like dealing with that today. <laughs> Lord Lemon of the server. I still thought it was funny as hell when we basically robbed Raptor's tower and he didn't even know it. That was great. Oh, it's five dirty ice. I thought it was only three. So I guess it's only three charcoal. Food. So I need to make some more uh, hooks. Uh, how many copper do I have? All right, I have three. I need to make four more. Shit, I just put the petroleum up. Yeah, Lewis, I don't know if you saw that or not, but we definitely stole from Raptor's Tower and he didn't even, he had no idea. Oh, crap.
Well, I don't know if that was a raptor per se, but some people were very testy when it came to PvP. But we'll, we'll just put it that way. I'm not. I'm not gonna say names. that's a you know what actually you're going up here you're going in timeout because i'm tired of thinking you're a chest damn it all right now how in the hell pvp zones on the map and people got pissy if you pvp yeah pretty much like i said i'm not stating names that's just going to stir up a whole bunch of drama that I just don't feel like dealing with today. <laughs> Actually, just to be on the safe side, I think I'm going to make a few more rings just to be on the safe side. it didn't say hello <laughs> yeah it's pretty much the way i look at it because rust was basically developed around pvp man like What is it if you can't handle the heat, get the hell out of the kitchen? Or if you can't shit, get off the pot? from here. Oh, okay. I see it now. Oh, this is going to be such a waste. Good lord, I'm glad I made extra ones. Personally, I don't mind PvP, just don't be a dick about it. Yeah, that's pretty much the way I look at it. I usually don't PvP unless I have to, but that's just, that's just the way I look at it. Oh, 
Like I said, it's not to say that I won't PvP, it's just usually just not my go-to. Oh, you see, this one's three stages. Cause you got blue, red, and yellow. So this one's a three-stage puzzle. Yeah, like I said, that's my only problem with Rust, though, is I get extremely addicted to that game. That's also the reason why I've got, like, I don't know, damn near probably $2,000 just in skins. was my connection point here or was it in the house and I can't see the thing yeah I think that's what it is damn it The only two reasons I don't play Rust is one, the community gets so toxic, and two, there's constant raiding. Well, you gotta find the right server, dude, because there's a server for everybody. It just depends on what your playstyle is like. Like me, I was playing on Face Punch 6, but like I said, I got on like a really, really good group of people. And um, I actually met them on a softcore server because I was playing on softcore just to have some fun, you know? and. Most everybody there on Softcore are pretty friendly. Most. Oh, this fog, man. I can't see shit. Personally, I'd rather trade than fight people with fight. Yeah, like I said, you just, you just gotta find what works for you. Because the softcore servers are usually dedicated more towards like newbie kind of servers. So there's not as much raiding and stuff, and uh, most of the time people are gonna tell you if you're getting raided by them. Most of the time. I know that's the way it worked on the, the soft one, softcore I was playing on, so. Alright, what the hell? What? Thank you. Spend more time doing PvP and raiding people's bases in Ark. Oh I'm not even getting started on Ark. That is such a oh, it's such a horrible game. Croissant. 
Here we go. We got a gold, like a uh, whatever, a better chest than what we had. So. All right, so let's see. Cause I did see some materials. There we go. Cause that chest right there will give us a good amount of materials when we get to the next station. Getting close though, we almost have enough for our boiler. Almost. Just get sniped by tower bases. Oh yeah. Well, I don't deal with tower campers, man. Like if I anytime I saw somebody roof camping, oh man, it'd be on my Donkey Kong. I absolutely hate roof campers. They're almost as bad as corner campers in Call of Duty. Because it requires almost no skill. The majority of the time, the people that are sitting up there in their little tower being little bitches, they can't actually PvP. So if you ever, if they ever come down and try and loot, and you're there to counter them looting, yeah, usually you'll win like four out of five times. Usually. Oh, come on, go in reverse, damn it. There we go. Join raiding groups and we hold people hostage. Hey, I don't know what it was because I was aiming right on it, all right? Oh, no, don't want to hear you shit, Cypher. <laughs> All right, so now we should have enough to make our extra water. Can you call it your favorite activity? And you're prodding a goddamn bear! <laughs> How you doing today, Matthew? So I think in between those two boxes and what we have right now, we should have just enough for an upgrade and our steam engine. Should. Oh, come on, man. That, that shit is so old. Because I think between these two right here, we should have enough to make our upgrade for the next, uh, next trailer wagon upgrade. I'm doing good, Matthew. Thanks for asking. Hey, what, what Jax do? 
What did Jax do? Oh, I see now. Okay. Damn it. How's Cali treating me? Freaking amazing. I love this city, dude. San Diego is absolutely amazing. So yeah, basically beautiful weather year round, beautiful women, beaches, tons of bars, and $5 gasoline. So it, it all sounds good to me. <laughs> Hopefully we actually get another Riflimo on the next post, actually. Then we have two of these little bastards. Wait, what? How is it saying we've only been streaming for an hour and a half? That can't be right. waiting on that cloud megalodon to come flying towards the train <laughs> well we actually saw one of the whales like really close to this uh, to the train earlier it was towards the beginning of the stream take the ram air with me yes i did and i sold it yeah sure as hell sold because i had to do that awful thing called adulting The car was just too much on my back. Like, I was uh, continuously in pain, like with my back and stuff. So I, uh, I sold it and I bought a TLX. A 2015 Acura TLX. Yeah, I know, Edgar. Adulting. Ugh. Who the hell wants to do that? Ugh. Pretty good amount of wood now. That's a good thing. Still need a lot more petroleum. And I haven't seen our little friends anymore, so I don't know. I need fat. Good to have wood. <laughs> yeah, more of that adulting stuff. <laughs> Just 
It's just how you use the wood is how what makes it different. Dirty ice, and I can make another uh, water by them. Jerks. Now I got some fat. Boy, that's what she said. <laughs> Never go anywhere without wood because you might need to use it on something or someone special. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, no, they tried to run away. Freaking jerks. You weren't getting away that easy. is between a smelter too. It's got to be better though, right? I mean, it wouldn't be a smelter two if it wasn't better than the smelter one. wire and three resin to unlock zinc. Uh, petroleum or chemical and wood. I don't know why I keep calling that petroleum. I really don't. It's super weird. Oh, it's screwed to me. I can make the resin right now. Pretty sure I'll find enough metal to make the, the last little bit. Chemical! 
pals. The hell are you doing, dude? Playing too goddamn long. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Cause I see chemicals. <laughs> you got fork yet, Paul? When do we unlock the bar car? Who the hell knows? <laughs> All right, pause that for a second. Cause what was it we need for zinc? Three copper or wire? Okay. Paul, we went to uh, two witch islands. So we, so we got our two treasure chests sitting up here. So it's not bad. Paul, I'd like to see if multiplayer is working again because according to reddit they uh, fix multiplayer So whenever you get home if you want to try again All right, so now we need three zinc and three copper bars to make brass Yeah, Raptor was playing multiplayer, but apparently they broke it for a little while All right, let's move to the next station, I guess. Barbsy, or sorry. <laughs> oh, I saw your name and I immediately thought Barbsy was this guy's name. <laughs> Congratulations, Riflimo, you're now Barbsy. <laughs> As I get home, I'm about 20 minutes and out, and I'll play with you. Okay. Oh, sounds good. I hope that we have enough to build this freaking build this freaking boiler. I told you that was my goal for the at least to at least complete that during the stream, is I wanted to get the boiler. I have a good bit. Yeah. Okay. I have enough petroleum. Damn it! Chemicals. Damn it! Not petroleum. But I'm doing all right, Barbsy. Thanks for asking. Oh, I heard gunfire.
Don't you run for me, damn it. I'll walk my happy ass over there. frame all right hey you calm down down there all right i'll get to you when i'm damn well ready oh is that how we're gonna play this okay oh come on There we go. Hell yeah. Fan Bradford played Boy Train and they didn't have any issues, although Bradford's kept leaning every every now and then. Yeah, like I said, it's just uh, it was like a couple of days ago that they released saying that when they did their update that the multiplayer was broken. So we'll see. Like I said, because they just did a Reddit post today saying that they had fixed it, so. I mean, it's early access, so I mean, it's not going to be perfect. Void Wars, episode three. Oh, last character's... Rap, rapper's character. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I watched some of those streams. It was just I was trying not to watch too much of it because I didn't want to ruin it for myself. So now I guess that means I have to buy the revolver. Or the armory, I mean. He's in the smelter, like, right now. Seem to have a hook shot to do everything. They had to grow, throw heck grappling hooks for their tether. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I didn't... I don't know why they weren't using them. Honestly, because I was like, man, it's like, it made it a great... What? <laughs> T. <laughs> 
seeds. A balanced frame, rapidity, rapidity. Hey, you want to calm your ass down, all right? Oh, this is going to be fun. Trying to find a place to put all this crap. This is gonna take a second, Chad. I just gotta rotate everything around. Empty all this crap out so that way I can delete it, basically. Lot of wood. <laughs> All right. Make sure I have room. Get rid of all this crap up here. All right, <sighs> ten iron bars, four gears, four forcers, four bolts, and four copper pipe. Chat, we're building our steam engine. <clears throat> Look at all this freaking wood, and there's more in the builder's box. We have a ton of freaking wood. <laughs> the lemon train. Steam engine and our upgrade. 
Because we still got more metal over there in the builder's box that we need to forge. Now, put some of this up. Should be everything. Oh, four gears. Damn it. Forgot about those. Can't not have my horns. There we go. We have a steam engine. Hell yeah. cost to get our upgrade again because I think it's four iron two gears two bearings and uh, let's see yeah two springs two bearings two bolts four iron and there's a reflimo ah right there he is I say two of each of those or four. Damn it, I don't remember. It was two? Okay, thank you. Cook up some more grease. Hell yeah, moving right along, chat. Getting this thing done. We got a steam engine. Do you think you use those two levers in to go forward and backwards? Yeah, but I plan on putting those uh, on the back here once I expand the train out. But they're also right here too. See, transmission, afterburner, brake. It's all right here. Oh, I need to make the uh, bearings. I 
Actually, I might as well go ahead and make more. Because I think I've got plenty of iron. Uh, maybe. to do another upgrade. Which I'm pretty sure I do. And I know I've got plenty of wood to do it. We still have scrap metal in here. Not very much, but we do have some. Now that you have the machine gun, those voice shots shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, but I gotta make ammo for it. part is just balancing inventory. Uh, shoot. I don't have enough to make Riflimo's thing again. Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Take the bacon and I'll put it in a pancake. Making pancakes, that's what it's gonna make. Making pancakes. Oh, actually. I think I may have just enough. Upgrade the chest? Yeah, but I have to unlock it. All right, Riflimo, you're getting a new home. Yeah, just another guy. Hello. Look, he's got he's got nipple coverings. <laughs> All right, now for the fun part.
What the hell? I should probably make another chest over there so I have one for my lab. Because if I don't get all this stuff out now, I lose it. These are all better stuff for my pistol. All right, what can I research? I could try and burn some materials. Yeah, nothing, because I need metal. Everything out of the chest. Yeah, I did. At McDonald's carrying stuff funny. seen a video where I can't started to scream you're a devil at an old man and the guy starts roaring at her like a monster no I didn't but I did actually see a video yesterday where some Karen was sitting there trying to call the cops because they um, because they didn't get her order right or something like that or that no 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 it was they it was because they were out of uh, tacos some of these parts in here. There we go, perfect. Hell yeah. We got our damn train. Look at it, it's so beautiful! It's so beautiful! I send you the link of that clip? Oh yeah, please, by all means. Yeah, it's so cool. 
And then later on, I'm assuming once we get the boiler upgrade, that it uh, extends this part out, I'm assuming. So that way it can hit, uh, it can hold more water and stuff. Alright, let's see here. Get the coins. See if we can't get any, any luck. What the hell is this chemical doing way over here? Are you a member of Pandy's Playhouse? No, I'm not. <laughs> All the luck, chat. All the luck. Oh, what is that? Seeds. Okay. Alright, it'd be nice if you just give me three of those. Oh, food works too, I guess. Oh, that was crap. I need to make that backpack. Two leather, two bolts, two copper pipe. Oh, okay. Well, crap. Ugh. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, thank you, Cypher. Thank you very much, good sir. I will definitely check that out. Let's see, uh, let's see. Hey, as I actually think that this is a good place to stop for now, but I will definitely return back to this game probably either tomorrow or Saturday evening. I'm not really sure yet because, like I said, I really want to play Horror Tales. So, I know Saturday morning we plan on doing Carrier Command 2. We're gonna, um, gonna be doing a big multiplayer stream of that one, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, uh, if you guys wanna stick or, uh, do that and join me for Saturday, it'd be awesome, because we should have a lot of fun. It's eight people I've never played with, so it should be entertaining. But like I said, is, um, I'm just gonna wrap it up right here, so that way I can hop off here, get some dinner, and then we'll come back to this maybe tomorrow just depends like i said i really want to play horror tales so maybe we do both of those tomorrow so uh let's see if anybody is streaming right now so i can send you over their way uh nima is streaming still uh, she's been going hard on that game like really hard So if y'all could, just hop over there. Tell us the Lemon King sent you. Enjoy her car mechanic sim, and then I will be back tomorrow. Thank you guys for the 22 likes. And thank you again for all of your wonderful support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good night, everyone.